Hi, I'm Jay Coker, Chairman of the Board of Producers Rice Mill. We've been bringing you updates periodically the last few years. Thought we would catch you up today on more of a mid-season report for the 2020 crop. Before we get into too much discussion on the crop, we'd like to address the COVID situation. We've been fortunate producers that our employees, uh, our vendors, our partners, our other stakeholders, they've been very diligent in doing the social distancing, following health department guidelines, following suggestions and mandates from the state of Arkansas and the governor. And uh, we'd like to give a appreciative thanks to him for his leadership. But right now, we've uh, not been missing any production. Processing is ongoing. And a great shout out to our employees, whether in shipping, billing, bagging, processing, wherever, they've done a great job. And we've kept the uh, effects of COVID as far as in our operations to a bare minimum. As far as the crop growth stage, we're in the last week of June. We're experiencing more uh, warmer temperatures. There's a tremendous amount of growth right now within these rice fields. The rice is progressing uh, further along at this point than we were last year. The acreage was planted, a significant amount of the acreage was planted much earlier than last year's crop. So we feel good about where we are in relation to where we should be based on normal weather, normal patterns, uh, typical growing conditions and that, that coincide with our normal five-year average. This time of year, a lot of farmers, rice farmers, time and talents are spent in maintaining the irrigation of the rice crop. Rice grows in a flooded environment. A lot of our customers at producers and visitors that are, are not used to seeing rice, that's one of their first questions. Why do we grow rice in a flooded environment? Uh, it allows us to have more efficient use of fertilizer. It helps us with our weed control. Uh, it just helps in the overall progress of the plant. Taking all that stuff into consideration, we are growing rice using much less water than we used to, and we're getting to a point to where we're trying to become less dependent on irrigation water and still being able to grow a rice crop that meets the quality, meets the yield, and meets the demand that the farmer requires. At, at Producers Rice Mill, just like out on the farm with the farmers, we're already turning our attention to harvest. Uh, a crop at this stage, we're about 60 days from harvest, so there's a lot of things that can occur that will affect the quality and the yield of our crop. Weather impacts uh, a lot of our potential, so we're hoping that we're gonna have seasonal weather that is typical, that's positive, and uh, lends us to having a productive crop and a quality crop. 